What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys the first episode of Clutching Up with Crazy. Even though I'm not a competitive Call of Duty player anymore, I still have a lot of clutch footage that I can bring you guys, and I still play GBs on Black Ops 2. So there's a couple, I have a couple footage, a couple like things of me clutching up. I have, I have a lot of, uh, what's it called? I have no idea why I included that clip in this. But uh, I have a lot of like video of clutches and stuff. Um, so I'll just skip fast forward. Uh, I'm actually recording, like, I'm recording this in theater. Obviously, you saw from the countdown. I think I clutched it up in this round. Um, but not every single round, I, cl I don't clutch it every single round, but I don't think I, I only die once, but, uh, I think I, like, where you see these two green lines, yeah, I clutch here. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this series is I'm going to explain how I remained calm and how I ended up clutching it. So, first thing you guys want to do whenever you're in a clutch situation is you want to remain calm. I mean, I saw this kid, I called him out, so I knew he was there, I missed some shots because I was panicking a little bit. But like I said, you got to stay calm, and this was actually a continuation from a game before where they had ended it prematurely because I, I forget why, but um, we just decided we would play it through from the score. And we ended up it, we ended up losing the map six five, but I think we win this three to one. Uh, we were down five to two. So, as you can see, I remained calm, but I took some panic shots there, or as we'd like to call them, stupid shots. And I'm just goofing off here, smash this trophy system. I'm like, yeah, I got this. And Twist is like, what are you doing, Mike? And I was like, yeah, I got this. I don't really care about clutching now. And so. Here I'm basically thinking, trying to figure out where he is, trying to play smart, and I, so I quickly plant A, and then I kind of just play bomb right here. I run up to the middle, no he's coming from there, and I read him like a book and kill him. So that's really what ha what you guys have to do to clutch up. You guys just have to remain calm, stay, like if, if you don't remain calm, then you're not gonna clutch it. If you panic, if you constant like literally, if you're constantly panicking, you're not gonna clutch it. I hate to say it, but it's true. Because to be to be a clutch, you're good at clutches, all you gotta do is you gotta keep composure, be like play it like it's a two v two, or play it like it's a full team. So I cross map this kid, go over here, know he's there and get the two piece. It's not really a clutch but that's because it's just a two piece and I trade the kill. But like like I said, you guys just have to stay calm. It's it's one of the best things, one of the best tips anybody can give you who's good at clutches. I can consistent my team can consistently rely on me to clutch up. Um charges acquired. My team can can consistently rely on me to clutch up and we can consistently like do we consistently do well because of my clutches and I'm just gonna end this theater here actually I'm gonna rewind to a clutch earlier alright so I'm gonna so I'm gonna actually explain what happens here so I see this I go up to mid stairs because they were rushing that the whole game and I see this kid I call him out but twist doesn't have enough time to react so I, I kill him then pick bomb because I'm like alright so first things first, I have to pick bomb and I have to make sure I have the bomb in my hand so that he cannot play bomb. That's one of the best tips I can give you. If you are on offense, you want to make sure you can't play bomb. Or they can't play bomb. Sorry, I accidentally clicked off myself. Um, you want to make sure they can't play bomb. So you want to quickly grab the bomb if it's not like all the way across the map. Like you saw, I was running towards it anyway. So I was like, all right, let me grab bomb. Let me take this in case I need to plant because you don't want them to win especially when you're down and they have five rounds and you need a couple to come back you don't want them to win by time I hate that I hate when they when the defense wins by the time limit not by the like kills or defusing so like I said I know this kid's gonna come here because he rushes that all game so I just read the kid like a book and knew he was coming there and it'll be easier to do this series as I like I'll try to live comment like try to live comp some of these when I'm playing GBs, but I'm not gonna play more GBs for a while for, for on this game. But I'm like I said, I'm gonna continue talking. So like another tip, uh, and I've, I've given you guys to stay calm, and if you're on offense, grab bomb. So on defense, you always want to play bomb if they have it down. I always 
every single time I get bombed down, I always say, I got bombed down, just let me play my game. So here I knew that kid had bombed, and I'm like, bombed down, cool. And I kill him, because I knew he was there. See, it's all about call-outs, and if you don't know the call-outs, if you, if you don't know where the people are, you just play to outsmart your player. Me, I consider, and I've always been considered it by my teammates, that I'm a smart player. And I, can, I have so many teammates who can back me up on me being a smart player. Oops, sorry, I thought somebody came in my room. Um, carrier down. You always want to just try to outsmart them. I don't know why I panicked there, because I knew I had the kill there. But like I, like I said, you always want to try to outsmart them. I, th I knew this kid had two trophies down when I smashed his trophy. So I was like, all right, he's going to be confused. He's probably going to run to check his other one first because I knew where the other one was. I don't call it out. I forget where it was. I just remember knowing where the other one was, so I smashed it to distract him. And then I think it was right behind that rock, actually. And then there was this one. So I smashed the trophy. I am like, okay, he's probably going to be in kitchen, which he wasn't. So I'm like, all right, he's not in kitchen. Let's check money. Nope. All right, I'm going to check this real quick, check every corner, and then I'm going to plant bomb. I forgot to check Tiki, so that could have been risky, but I kind of figured he wasn't in Tiki. So here I'm like, he's probably going to come open stairs, which I knew. So like I said, I read him. So I know I've been re replaying the same thing, and I'm just trying to prolong the video so you guys can like understand what I'm trying to say. So you want to always, the three tips I'm going to give you this video are be calm, play smart, and play bomb oh, on offense. Yeah. Protect the objectives. Um, as you can see, I'm not trying to talk trash here, but Twist had a rough time. Rough time this game. He had I went four and zero. Uh, he went or er, he went zero and zero and four. I think. I forget how we won round one, the first round. I think I just hopped on bomb. Oh yeah, that's right, they killed themselves. Um, so, like I said, you just want to stay calm, be, just be ready to, like, be ready, just be ready. Prepare for everything, don't sprint, play slow. Like you see, I almost never sprint unless I know the guy's not going to be here. I'm going to get to another clutch situation, you guys will see, I don't sprint when I'm in a clutch situation. So, he dies there. I'm like, alright, he's right here. I knew I had no chance of getting sniped from pillars. So, you'll see here, I very rarely sprint. And I only sprint when I know they're not there. So, that's another tip I can give you guys, is not to sprint. I keep hitting RB. So, here, the actually, I'm going to go from this guy's perspective. He's pillars. Now, he pushes through mid, and this is where I see him. I see him right here. So, you see, he sees me shooting at him. He challenges. I ran back. Oh. And then I ran and smashed his trophy. Now, I want to see where he is when I smash his trophy. So, I'm pretty sure he's just still pre in kitchen. Yeah, so he goes pillars because he's expecting me to plant B, which I don't because I knew he would probably expect me to plant it. So, it's planet B. So, I ran around, I wrapped around, and planted A. So, once I planted A, I basically had the advantage here. I'm going to go back to me. So once I plant A, I have the advantage because I'm pretty sure he's watching over B. That's why I ran open stairs because you can basically control the whole map. So just know your map and really just like know your map, know the people you're playing against. Be smart. Don't sprint. Don't rush your, don't rush your decisions. Don't second guess yourself. And that's really all I can tell you guys about clutching in situations. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of the day.